today I wanted to show y'all my new makeup routine and also um, some new skincare products that I've been loving. Are y'all ready for this? I think that you are. So before I start on makeup routine every morning, I love to use CeraVe or CeraVe's Hydrating Facial Cleanser. One of my best friends, her older sister is a certified esthetician. Her name is Hannah Freeman and her Instagram is Skin with Hannah and she's incredible. Um, I asked her, I was like, Hannah, what should I use for my new skincare routine because I wanted to try out some new products. And she asked me all sorts of questions about my skin and then she recommended these. And these are super great, inexpensive, and I've been loving them. They've been making a difference in my skin, so that's amazing. And I also love this Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it so I can protect my skin from those crazy sun rays. A couple pumps of this. moisturize now. Next I take my Burt's Bees chapstick, my beeswax lip balm, and I like to prep my lips for the lipstick of the day. I love this matte. It's Russian red and it's matte. I love matte lipstick. I'm gonna put some on my finger first and then I'm gonna dab it onto my lips. I've been loving French beauty a lot lately, so these red lips are very inspired by my French obsession. I love French fashion, the food, the skincare, the makeup. I love that it's simple and it really enhances kind of more your natural beauty instead of covering it up. I'm going to take my Glossier in Zip. I like to combine lipsticks. I'm going to take this one and dab it directly on my lip. And the reason I, did, I do this and I don't put it on my finger first is because their pigment isn't very intense and so I like to just dab it right on because it doesn't go on very harshly. Okay, so I love Jeanne de Main. I think I pronounced her name right. She takes a Q-tip and then goes around her lips. So I'm gonna go grab a Q-tip really fast. <laughs> around my Q-tip, my trusty little tip. Voila, clean lines. I'm so out of breath, okay. <sighs> oh wait, that was so silly of me. I totally forgot. So usually before my lipstick, I like to put on this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And usually you wanna do that before the lipstick because your fingers will be red otherwise, but I totally forgot. Dab a little bit on my finger. I go directly under my eyes. I just like to do concealer here. And concealer is like my new, a new thing. It's part of this new routine, but I saw some other French ladies use concealer, and so I was like, you know, I'm gonna hop on the train for a little bit and see if I like it. Makes it a little bit more even, and it kind of blends my skin tone. And then I'm gonna go in on the other eye. Also, sometimes I like to add a little bit in here in the crevices of my nose, because with the crevices of my nose, get pretty dark or red a little bit. I always get so sweaty on my upper lip. My skin cone, my skin cone, my skin tone is a little bit more even, which is super nice. I always like to go in with my blush after my lipstick, but I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blush and I usually like to do this with the leftovers and I'm just gonna pat it a little bit right here and then I just kind of blend it in a little bit. Next, I like to go in for my brows. I'm gonna go in with this brow wiz and I brush them up and out and then I'm gonna go and make a straight line right there. I like my brows to be a little more feathered and so it just keeps them that way and it keeps them all nice and poofy. And this is the final step in my beauty routine. I like to go in and I curl my eyelashes. I start at the root and I squeeze it like five times. And then they're all sticking up. And I don't really like mascara because mascara always leaves darkness under my eyes. So then. Elevates my eyelashes. Does anybody else always
always get like really sweaty after they do skincare right over their top lip. <laughs> and that concludes the skincare and <laughs> makeup routine for today. This video is 11 minutes, oops. I like the simplicity of it. And sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit more extra, I like to take some of my lipstick and dot it right here. Gives a little sun. I hope that y'all liked it, and if you want to see more, then click that like button so I know. And if you want to subscribe, why not? Just, just do it. Just try it out. I will link all of the products that I used down below so that you can get yourself some of these if you like how any of these look and turned out. Have a wonderful day. I love y'all so much. And again, thank you for watching. Peace!